Yo, yo, happy good afternoon, everybody. Hope everybody's well. Uh, I want to talk about a little gem that I had in my collection that I pulled out and started to wear today. And that was from Ramon Monegal Curiel. It's one of my really, really favorites. Actually, I think it's a favorite from his house, even though I can't find his house in my stores anymore. But uh, this was really a good one. I think it dropped in 2010. And the notes can be a little confusing. Uh, I think it's beeswax and some cedar. And just some notes to me that honestly doesn't have anything to do with how it smells. I mean, somewhat, but not really. But so what I get with this, uh, pretty much kind of a honey vibe, which that would kind of make sense with the beeswax. But then they spoke of an interpretation of leather as uh, another note. And I'm thinking, well, okay, I guess so. Uh, leather, in a essence, is an interpretation, but okay, it's their interpretation of leather. I get it, I guess. But <laughs> it, it comes together and it's really nice. It is a semi-leathery honey vibe that the leather, to me, is the only thing that stops it from being close to really feminine and I like the little cap actually I'm playing with it as we speak but it just pops up does that and it doesn't come off just pops up the sprayer is really really light but you know you can get a pretty good spray out of it with you know three or four sprays it's just it's a light sprayer but overall I really like the house but this honestly is my favorite from the house and I was wearing it today and figured I'd touch down on it and let you know what I thought. I, actually, I was looking at it, and it seems like it might be tough to find now. I was trying to see if I could find it anywhere. I saw a couple of online sp uh, spots that had it for like 134, 120. I think it was a 50 ml parfum concentration, and I paid, uh, I think I did pay 184 because I bought it straight out of the, uh, the store. As soon as I saw it and smelled it, I picked it up immediately because I, I liked it that much. And this is, this is, essentially the, the uh, type of fragrances that I really like but you know the sweet leathery you know somewhat mysterious but you know not freshies for the most part uh, I get plenty of time for freshies and it's gonna be that time of year coming up soon once the uh, temperature hits consistently above 90 I have plenty of freshy time and yep Curel and yep you might be thinking did you pick the shirt based on what you were wearing today? you damn right. Yep, black and gold. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> but that's all I got. Just want to test down with uh, what I had on today. One of my little goodies inside my collection. But um, let me know any others that you might like from the house that you know about the house or have you tried this? Uh, did it come off too feminine for you? Or was it, did you like it, love it, hate it, indifferent? But I'm interested to find out. But until next time, y'all be good.